And man, we just waited there. I mean, we probably waited for another, another half an hour or something. They finally released them. And as they released them, they're coming to that police station. We're fucking chasing them to beat their ass. And we're chasing down the street, like woofing up. And the police just don't give a fuck. And I'm mm. like, they're not going to chase us, you know? So yeah, so you want a you want a funny uh, a Thai story? So so like uh, there's there's I didn't tell you this last night, but uh, so we were out at a disco, um, the same disco actually. Uh, it's if for all of you who have ever been to Patty of Thailand, it's a Marine One. Shout out to Marine One. <laughs> it's a disco. Shout it's like, out. It's an old, it's an old school disco from like the I think they opened the eighties, bro. So they've been oh around yeah, forever. so they, they they have the disco in their veins. Yeah, and they, been kicking for a while. That's it, man. And they they had that escalator scene where where one of my crews there reached across and pulled that Brit across mm. across from going down into the up lane. Yeah. And just beat his ass. Yeah, you were you As, said you were with a, a friend who ended up being in the Thai mafia yeah. and you had uh some you know, you made friends with some people in that space and th they provided, you know, a path where they needed to sometimes exactly. they included grabbing someone and throwing them over an escalator that's awesome exactly and so we yeah. were in that same uh, disco one night and uh this one buddy of ours he was like, more of an acquaintance not like a, a close close friend we always hang out with but he he's a marine sniper or, or ex at this point former marine sniper and uh, also working the co contracting gig and he was just partying and just hanging out with this girl. And, uh, you know, sometimes there's lady drama there, you know mm. what I mean? Because girls will hang out with some dude. And then as soon as that dude is off going to do his thing, she's... Oh, yeah. That's cross-cultural drama. That, yeah. That you, that's, oh, wherever. that just yeah. doesn't happen in Thailand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that issue was happening. And then the dude comes back in, right? And sees, quote unquote, his girl with this buddy of ours, mm -hmm. right? Comes over and just starts putting the whoop on him, right? Mm. Starts hitting him, you know? And... uh so that that whole situation got figured out. Our buddy went to the hospital and got all stitched up and everything like that. And uh, we weren't done with it though, you know, yet. So we're like, what the fuck happened? And they, you know, they're explaining it all to us. And you know, the same guy, same guy that uh, the escalator scene, the the connected Thai mafia mm -hmm. uh, Muay Thai crew yeah. that would escort me around to gyms and shit. There you go. Um, that guy, uh, we, 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 we call him up, we're like, all right, we need you to find some people for us. Mm. <laughs> and uh, and so he he finds him, the the dude that like kicked my buddy's ass in the in Marine One that that night, you know, or last night, literally as it is. And so I get the call early, early the next morning. It was like six or seven AM in the morning, and I'm like not wanting to be up, right? Mm. Like, what the fuck? But it's my buddy, and he's like, Hey, we found him. You gotta get down to this street, right? I'm like, and I'm I hear the street, he just tells me, right? And it's on a soy between first and second road. I'm like, that's the fucking police station. Mm. And he's like, yeah, come down here right now. I'm like, why the fuck would we go to the police station? So, so, dude, I have silky shorts on. I have silkies. I put my flip flops on real quick and I throw like a, a tank top on and I'm yeah. fucking out the door of my hotel. Good right? clothing mobility for fighting. That's just it, like dude. those <laughs> those silk shorts and the, that tank top. You can move however you want. Literally just like the Marine PT uniform. You yeah. know? It's like just silkies. And, <laughs> yeah. There you go. So I'm, I'm, I'm going down to this police station and what it turns out is they got picked up for i don't know that they got picked up for the fight or that they might they may have but they got picked up for something else and uh it was one uh the guy who was involved in and his buddy and they were in the police station still getting signed out from their little stint right mm. and i show up down there and all art's already waiting there the thai guy mm -hmm. and so is a couple of our other buddies they're already waiting there you know and i show up and art's like yeah he's in there right yeah. i'm like dude we're in the fucking parking lot of this police station we can't, you can't be pointing at it You're like and i'm still this is early on before i understood the relationships you know uh, that he has with certain authoritarian yeah. entities there right? yeah some some crossover between uh <laughs> the, the authorities and uh the mafioso uh authorities that's some it, interchanging man. yeah yeah and man we just waited there i mean we probably waited for another, another half an hour or something they finally released them and as they released them they're coming to that police station we're fucking chasing them to beat their ass and we're chasing down the street like woof it up and the police just don't give a fuck and i'm mm. like they're not going to chase us you know was it because art was there with you guys that yes. they were kind of hands off they're yes. like oh that's 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 a dude that we don't want to fuck with. That's you can I, you can just have your way with our buddy. Do yeah, whatever you want. That, do whatever you want. To that him. was one of like the the scenes that I started. Uh, that was like the eye opener 
I'm like, mm. oh, okay, he has a relationship with these people. Maybe they're related or, or whatever's going on. But yeah, that that that's uh, slowly or maybe not so slowly over the course of the years was more revealed to me as he just kind of went everywhere where he wanted and just and, and he wasn't in like a overly he's like the most jolly guy art was mm -hmm. he was he was like a super super friendly guy until you like yeah you, you know you fucked he, he around needs to get down to business yeah. <laughs> and then you find out you know it was, yeah. it was wild man yeah so, there was a lot of scenes like that there was a lot of instances like that and you know it's like you, one of the running rules was you don't ever get involved that we had you don't ever get involved in tie affairs Mm. right so if there's like a tie affair we would let art handle it just like you know de-escalate de it or you might he might get into a problem with some tie guy or something like mm. that we never involved ourselves with that but if there was ever a falang problem a foreigner problem mm. that's where we invite ourselves in. yeah <laughs> and I, i'm just imagining someone trying to start a fight with you guys and you know you know what it's like to be in a firefight with people trying to fucking literally kill you shooting all around you you know, anything from weapons to hand-to-hand -hand combat is in play, explosive, all of these things. And you're used to analyzing all these different elements. Yep. And then some guy is in your face trying to fight you. And you're like, whew, like, I just have to worry about this right now. Yep. Like, this this is almost like a meditation to me, like yes. destroying a guy just like hand-to-hand, -hand, you know. It's I'm used to dealing with all this, all these different stressors around me. But that guy's, you know, he, he might be thinking, oh, like, I'm going to intimidate this dude. And, yep. and you you know j just flew in from somewhere in the middle east and you're just like dude like i'm on vacation right now yeah. like i'll beat the fuck out of you and like go have a fucking mai tai like i don't give a shit <laughs> it's, it's true man and like and, and to be honest it's 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 literally like it was a it was addicting in the wrong ways right mm. it's like uh it's like the the relationships you have with certain people that you know aren't gonna go anywhere and then yeah. you're like oh do i still keep doing this yeah and you're like because it it feels good from a pleasure sense but you know like it's not fulfilling right mm. like because that's exactly right we would come back from iraq afghanistan wherever guys were contracting from and we kind of all just meet up and whenever we were there and and as we met up it was just like okay we came from way up here like mm. way, the 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 pinnacle of violence and mm. dealing with that and managing it and mitigating like attacks and stress and returning fire and all this and now we're here where people want to play violence but yeah i mean it was that was almost like that's an illusion as well because even like a street fight like i might have survived all that all that war and contact and all that stuff but in a street fight you just never know when that guy's gonna start unfolding the knife and you think you're just gonna have a little Mm, you know yeah. back and forth of the guy and next thing you know you know you're wearing a knife in your rib cage that's not good like that could be the end yeah like <laughs>